Hey, it's John with Upgrade to Mobile Solar. We're doing a little experiment here. The last few days, we have had a bunch of storms, and last night I went without power from about 9.30 p.m. until 6 a.m. the next morning, and it really sucked. Next year, I'm buying a house, and it's gonna be completely off-grid, but I'm using some spare parts I just have sitting around that I'm not using for any projects. I just use these for bench testing items and you know various projects like that, but I don't put them in RVs or homes. These are some old Renergy gel batteries I have. Uh, I actually have eight, but I can only have uh, five of them sitting here on this uh, dryer, or this washing machine. Yeah, no, it's a dryer. And then I have a 4,000 watt Ames inverter charger and a Solar Edge auto transformer. Now what's happening here is this is a 12 volt inverter charger, 120 volt AC out. So I have that going into the auto transformer. The auto transformer is converting this from, 100 and, uh, from 120 volt out to 240 volt out. And I'm just putting it in the dryer plug right there. So when the power's out, I'll cut the main breaker just to make sure nothing's back feeding the grid and I can turn the inverter on and I should be able to power the whole house. And we're gonna go ahead and try that right now. I would not recommend doing this full time if you're going to be plugging into the you know having this be a battery backup full time you should definitely have this hardwired into your system uh, at the AC panel and uh, but I'm going to be sh cutting off any critical loads or non-critical loads in this case I would be turning off my HVAC and uh, only running just the basic electricity and things like that so I won't be pulling very heavy loads so this inverter would actually be bigger than what I need but let's go ahead and give this a shot, see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the main breaker and we will be in darkness. Okay, here we are at the main breaker and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the breaker now. Okay, we have no power in the house right now. One moment. Okay. Now, we still, there's still a little bit of daylight left. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip this on and we should get power in the whole house. I actually turned it on to power saver mode, don't wanna do that. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and turn. Let's go ahead and turn off the uh, HVAC because I don't wanna to try to run that. Although it will run, I'm not interested in and uh, killing that uh, battery bank so quick. So we have our, that's the dryer. That's the where the power is gonna be coming in at. And so here's our HVAC right here. So let's go ahead and that's the furnace. So we can turn that off because it's hotter than all, so we don't need it. So. Basically, those are the only don't, loads I don't want to run. So we'll see what happens. So we're going to turn this on. It should go into, oh, see, there it went. Power's back on. Here we are, full power. We are running on battery, as you can see. Everything is running. Let's see how much current we're gonna we're pulling. Okay. Now we want to be careful because that's live, so let's not stick our hands in that. We're gonna put the clamp meter on this, and we're gonna go ahead and set this to DC and see how much we're pulling. So we are pulling 111 amps. I'm 111 amps DC. Let's see if I can show you what we're pulling on AC. So it's kind of tight squeeze right here in the corner. So we're only pulling five amps AC, which is about right because I don't have any heavy loads on. We basically just have lights running, TV, things like that. 
so at 240 volts it's not going to be falling too much but anyway this is a very easy way to set up a whole house battery backup very quickly this is just 6040 watt hour battery bank technically half of that because they're gel batteries so you can only take these to 50 percent capacity but these are for battery backup emergencies you know short times without power one 4,000 watt Ames inverter charger and an auto transformer. So um, in a case of an emergency, you can probably put together any deep cycle batteries you want to match if possible, but you know, apocalyptic circumstances, who knows? This was about $1,300, $1,400 back in the day. Um, this is about 270 or three. Actually, these are going for about 400, a little over 400 now. Uh, they used to be cheaper, but they're getting harder to find. And these, I'm not sure what the gel batteries go for, but you know, it, you could use half of these in lithium and probably spend about six or seven hundred dollars on a lithium battery. Anyway, whole house battery backup. And I also don't have some critical things on this. If you're going to do this for real, uh, permanent situation, you would want the appropriate breakers, disconnects, battery monitor, things like that in place. This is strictly emergency, and I would never recommend sitting on a dryer. Just want to let you know, this is not the way we do things professionally. This was just me getting bored and wanting to play around. So, but it's just kind of cool to see what you can do. You can take 120 volt in, you know, from this, convert it to 240, and power a whole house through the dryer uh, receptacle. Anyway, if you like this video, like, subscribe, and share, and. Uh, you know, get out there and experiment as much as possible, but be safe when you do it.